Hi, I'm Skyler. To activate an iPhone at this point, uh, ever since iOS 5, you don't have to be connected to a computer, and you do not need the original SIM card. So here I've got an iPhone 5, it's uh, AT&T, which means that I can see the SIM card tray right here on the right-hand side. All you require is something small, something narrow enough to fit into that hole and press. The SIM tray will open. You can put in any SIM card, it doesn't have to be the original one but it may not activate the phone if the phone is locked to a carrier. So, meaning that since this phone has not been unlocked by AT&T, if I put in a simple mobile SIM card, for example, it wouldn't activate. You'll have to take that up with AT&T about the specific phone. But, if I have a different AT&T SIM card, it will activate the phone. That part's easy. If you run into trouble, though, you may want to check out this help page. So the help topic is uh, support.apple.com slash kb slash ts3424. And this details a few different things which may be causing errors when you attempt to activate the phone. The one that caught my eye right away was activation lock. So if you get a password or if you're asked to enter a password when you're trying to activate the phone with a different SIM card, it may be because you have Find My iPhone enabled and it's uh, preventing you with activation lock. So I would check that um, and check the other resolutions here, restarting, restoring, um, and you can always head down to an Apple store or to an AT&T store for help if these things don't work. Thanks for watching. I'm Skyler.